Anytime one of your children is sick, it's stressful. And knowing when they're sick enough for a trip to the ER, well, that can be a dangerous guessing game. Six News anchor Lori Tucker has much more in tonight's Caring for Our Kids. Lori? Well, Kristen, experts at Children's Hospital say there are seven signs you should never ignore when it comes to your child's health. Joining us now from Children's Hospital Emergency Department is Dr. Katie Stordahl. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm going to run through all seven of these mm -hmm. and have you comment on each one for all of our parents out there. First of all, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath. So difficulty breathing means muscles pulling on the neck, the chest, the abdomen. If your child is gasping for breath, turns blue, or stops breathing for more than 15 seconds, that means you should call 911. Mm -hmm. But if they're just working hard to breathe, you should call your doctor or think about coming into the ER. Okay, what about change in, in mental status? Their behavior totally changes. Right. When we see this, we always worry about ingestions of some sort with a poison mm -hmm. or a medication. We worry about meningitis. We worry about other types of infections and tumors, but it can be something as simple as they have a high fever. We can all act abnormal when we have a high fever. Mm -hmm. So if you give your child medication and the fever comes down and they're acting normally, they're probably fine. If they're still acting abnormal, you need to come to the ER. So scary though, and, and bleeding that won't stop. They get hurt, maybe mm -hmm. they have a nosebleed. Mm -hmm. What kind of bleeding that doesn't stop? Bleeding that's more than five minutes when you're applying direct pressure. And okay. direct pressure means that you have something on the wound holding it down you're not taking your hand off during that time period to look or if it stops bleeding and then starts bleeding again a few minutes later that can be concerning that something's wrong with the blood or that the wound is very deep so hold that pressure five minutes without mm -hmm. stopping okay good to know also stiff neck and fever you kind of touched on this but let's um, go back to that for a moment right and a lot of times people will come in worried with stick neck and it's a, something as simple as their child slept the wrong way, or they've got a swollen lymph node, or they've got strep throat or sore throat from a virus. Mm -hmm. But if it's truly a stiff neck where they're not wanting to move their head and they've got a fever, that's always concerning for a deep throat infection or for meningitis. What about rapid heartbeat? And, and you know, parents can sometimes tell when mm -hmm. it's really fluttering. Mm -hmm. what, what is that a sign of? I see a lot of parents that are worried that their child has a rapid heartbeat that they feel when they're holding them and they have a mm -hmm. fever. That's normal. Everybody's respiratory rate and heart rate goes up with a fever. If they don't have a fever, however, and they've got a high heart rate, that can mean they're in severe pain, dehydration, or even an arrhythmia. So in that case, that would be something to call your doctor about or come in. Their little body's fighting it. All right, mm -hmm. we're almost out of time, but ingesting poison, too much medication. That's an obvious call the poison yeah. control center or come right in. Okay, and we're going to end with head trauma or, or vomiting. That's also something to really right. take seriously. Head trauma with multiple multiple episodes of vomiting or loss of consciousness, severe headache, or they're acting disoriented or have mm -hmm. seizures, those are all reasons to come to the ER that shouldn't be seen the next morning. All right. Thank you so much, parents. Thank we don't you. want to scare you. It's just something that we all need to be aware of. Good information just to know. Absolutely. Doctor, once again, thank you. And if you have a question about your child's health, just send me an email to ltucker at wate.com. And be sure to tune in every Thursday here on 6 News at 530 as we get advice for you straight from the doctor. Kristen?